case, I actually pushed this in a little bit too far. And so a really easy way to fix it is to uh, just get a rag and uh, put a little compressor. You got to be careful when doing this, okay? Um, Towel is probably a safer bet, truthfully. I'm wearing glasses. And uh, you can just kind of feel it rise up. So that should be about the right position. And um, again, to complete our compact design, um, there's a relief groove machined on the bottom side. So that pops into place just like that, and uh, now it's safe to uh, to basically use the compression rod to push it into position. And then the last step will be to actually pressurize the system and make sure everything's working correctly. So I take the bone tool, um, again as always apply a high pressure grease to clean parts. Um, this ensures that all the parts will seal correctly and the sealing o-rings will not be damaged. Again, if the sealing o-rings are compromised on the system, it will not work. These are very sensitive parts. So I cannot stress that enough. Clean, well lubricated, high pressure grease. Alright, so always the order of operations is to set your high pressure region. We're going to start at 300 PSI. There we go, man. Okay, just connect our zero loss tool. Bone tool. Have our high pressure cap ready to go. Again, high pressure increase. Install. Tighten down. Then we take our bone tool. High pressure grease. We've also got grease in the actual TACAR cap. Tighten it into position, set our pressure, repeat to the outer chamber if you'd like. There you go. Um, at this point then we'll simply install the cartridge uh, as we normally would, set our oil height and the TACAR system is ready to go.